Hi everyone, this is Trish and welcome to Bird Feed. I've packed another bonus box for Operation Christmas Child. This one is for a 10 to 14 year old girl and it has a kaleidoscope theme. I actually started collecting it for next year, 2025, but it's already finished. So I figured, why wait? I'm too excited to share it with you and I really want to get it sent off this year. At the end of the video, I'll be packing it back up so you can see how it all fits into this 7x12 shoebox. So I decorated the inside of the lid with some clip art that I designed on Canva and I added some scripture, let your light shine. Matthew 516 and it has a image of a girl looking through a kaleidoscope and all the different kaleidoscope images she's seeing and when she looks into her shoebox that's what she'll see on top. I was originally uh, going to pack a mandala themed shoebox but I found this kaleidoscope adult coloring book at the Dollar Tree recently and so I morphed this mandala shoebox into a kaleidoscope shoebox. It has great images of mandala type patterns in a kaleidoscope fashion. So I love that. Then I added uh, one of those little 16 page blank books. This one happens to be of smiley faces. This also came from the Dollar Tree in a four pack. But on a couple of the uh, smiley faces, I added some kaleidoscope stickers. She has a spiral notebook. And of course, she has a kaleidoscope. This is a nice one that I got on Shein in a two pack, uh, but for one, the cost was 78 cents. The two pack was on sale for $1.50 something. And it makes some nice, colorful kaleidoscope images. Her stuffy is this very cool cat by the name of Kaleidoscope. Yeah, his name is Kaleidoscope. It says inside, I'm wild and crazy as you can see. Other cats want to be like me. Some may say I look like a clown, but I'm the coolest cat in town. I love this. He's so cute. I gave her a harmonica. This came from the Target bullseye section and it makes a nice sound. They had them there for $3, but marked them clearance to $1.50. Thank you, Denise Rogers, for giving us a heads up on these at Target. I was able to find quite a few. So I included one in her shoebox, and I love the color of it for this box. I also gave her a game of candy hearts. It's uh, just the, a, a game of hearts and it has a score pad. It actually came in this nice box, which I would have loved to include as a place to store her game, but uh, I was un unable to fit the box. This came from Target during their after Valentine's Day clearance and I got it at 90% off. I think I paid like 60 cents for it. So it, it has the deck of cards, it has instructions on how to play the game, and a score pad in there. And the cards look like so. They're cute. I also included a first aid kit tin that came from the Dollar Tree recently. And it comes with 18 band-aids, 10, 
10 fabric bandages of the larger size, eight of the smaller size, two wound dressings, which are actually um, like little gauze squares, and a paper tape. And I included this one because I thought the print on the tin looked much like what you would see when you look through a kaleidoscope. And I thought it would be a nice little tin for her to have to collect things in when the um, band-aids are gone. There's a lot of extra space in the tin, so I filled it with some other things. A pretty fidget spinner. This one is pink and burgundy. And the Spiral Arts set. It's like a spirograph. Um, I got this at Target long ago for, I think like 10 cents. I bought a bunch of them um, when they had them on clearance out of the bullseye section. And it comes with four templates. Then they ha it has four different discs that um, will make different patterns. And I'm going to insert a picture of a printout that I'm going to add to this that I meant to print out before I started unboxing this and I, I forgot to do it. So I will add it so that maybe she'll know what to do with this because she, she might see this and not really know how to use it. And it's why I gave her this extra paper. So she'd have a place to do that. Then the rest of the tin has the different colored band-aids. There's some pretty ones in here. Spiral looking color and here's a neon and some striped ones. And then there's the smaller size in the bottom. And here's the paper tape and the wound dressings. So that came from the Dollar Tree. Those are nice. My real splurge in this box was this top. This is a ladies size small and it has like a little, you know, fluttery sleeve on it. And it has all these beautiful mandala or kaleidoscope patterns on it. The background is a dark navy and then there's purple and turquoise, orange and yellow. It's really pretty. That was my splurge. So I hope she likes this as much as I do, because I love this top. I gave her a couple of pairs of underwear. These are a girl's size 14. They came out of the package this way, um, kind of rolled together. So I left them that way because they uh, just happened to fit in a nice little space. I also gave her a fun pair of socks. These are the little mismatched socks that I actually matched up so that she would have a matched pair. And they're just really funky striped and have like a converse shoe with lace, a lace up on it. Not an actual lace, but just in the print. So I thought those socks would be fun to include. I gave her a pair of sunglasses and I slipped them into a mandala or kaleidoscope pattern sunglass case. And I included a pair of bright yellow sunglasses to pull out the yellow in her shirt. She has a very pretty cosmetic bag that I got on Tamu. It's very nice quality. And of course it has a kaleidoscope pattern on it. Inside, I included a double-sided compact mirror that has the magnified side on, on one and the regular side on the other, and it has that pretty pattern on it. I also gave her a travel hairbrush in lilac that I added a kaleidoscope sticker to the top. So she'll have a hairbrush. She has a lip balm and a nail clipper and a few uh, two inch emery boards. 
Then the last thing that's in her cosmetic bag is a little organza bag filled with some jewelry. There's a necklace with a kaleidoscope pattern in it in silver and a matching bracelet in silver and matching earrings. And I gave her a bunch of uh, little silicone backings for these earrings. And the last thing in that organza bag is a cross with a brightly colored or multicolored cord. One other article of clothing I've given, given her is a little bralette that I got recently on clearance. It came in a two pack for a dollar at Walmart. So I included one in her box. She has a clay bead bracelet kit that I got on clearance a while back at Hobby Lobby. And she has an assortment of the waterproof skateboard or water bottle stickers, whatever you want to call them. Um, several of them are in the kaleidoscope patterns. Uh, she's got some bumblebees some hot air balloons, and some smiley faces. Her pencil pack is filled with an assortment of pencils and pens. The pens are red, black, and blue. She's got a couple of pencil sharpeners, a colorful eraser, and she also has this cute novelty pencil that has kind of a, a pinwheel on it that reminds me of a kaleidoscope. And I also gave her a yellow highlighter and a multi pen. This is one of those Sentos scented pens with all the multicolored ink. She's got a solar calculator for school, a personal letter written in four languages from me and a uh, photo of myself and my family. She has a nice sturdy tote bag that I have prettied up by adding this iron-on of a uh, like a flower burst that reminds me of uh, the pattern you would see in a kaleidoscope. And the tote bag came in a three pack and was gifted to me by my friend Sally. So thank you, Sally. These have come in handy and they're perfect for ironing on these big um, iron on transfers that you can get on Timu and Shein, which is where this came from. I think it came, came from Timu. And the last thing in her box are a few more stickers. I gave her some colorful sheets of stickers that I think would be fun for a 10 to 14 year old. And a set of dimensional stickers in this, um, like a kaleidoscope or mandala shape that was given to me by uh, my friend Val. Val from V Swain Shoebox Sundays. Thank you for those Val, they were perfect for this box. So that was a lot <laughs> and it all fit into that 7x12 box. So let's see if I can get it back in there.
So that's my kaleidoscope themed shoebox packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl. I hope she loves it and I hope it brings her closer to Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye now.